What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have another Keyforge Age of Ascension tournament video for you brought to you from Black Knight Games in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. On the left is myself, on the right is Ray. We are playing our second game out of our best two of three series. If you haven't watched the previous matches, you can check those out in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. We have Little Nif starting on the right. A shadows creature with two power has a deploy and then can make a neighboring creature when they fight. You get to steal one. And we see Redacted placed there. Uh, it was an artifact I didn't get out in my first game, saw it very late. Uh, but it is basically a key cheat out of Logos. At the, at the start of the turn when I name Logos, I can put a Amber on it from the common pool. And when it has four Amber on it, I can sacrifice it to forge a key at no cost. I'm not sure if that's a great card. I, yeah, I saw it in the last game. I was like, uh, where were you? And... Uh, yeah, I got it in my first deck of Key Forge. If you'd like to see that deck, there is a video I'll try to link in the description below describing my deck that I'm playing right now. And I'm using Igor here as a two-power creature. When he comes into play, you get to look at the top three cards of your deck. You draw one and discard the other two. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow, helps support the channel. It's free, it's easy. And if you want to be notified when the next Keyforge videos go up, hit that little alarm bell button beside the subscribe button to be notified every time we post a video. So it looks like that's all I played out of Logos. It looks like I discarded a Research Samoko over there on the far, far side of the screen. I think it's back over to my opponent here, Ray, to decide he's going to go Shadows, it looks like. we got a bad penny thrown down, Lamindra, who gives elusive to her neighbors. Little Nif is going to reap, and we have our first Amber of the game. I just want to say thank you to everyone who leaves comments on this previous, uh, the previous Keyforge videos of the series. I like all the positive feedback and the discussion around some of the new cards and that, so... Yeah, feel free to feel free to leave uh, any comments below if you notice any rules, goof ups, or have any questions. Uh, it helps all of us learn and all of us get better at this game. Keep in mind, this is our second match of Keyforge Age of Ascension ever, so <laughs> there may be some some issues. So I throw a Scowly Caper across the other side of the board. Uh, my opponent's allowed to use him on his turn. He is skirmish, and at the end of his turn, he will destroy his neighboring creature. Since he is a controller, I believe that's how the effect works. He'll have to destroy a neighbor of Scally Caper. And I played a Gamgee who reaps and steals one if the opponent has more Amber. So it looks like Ray is going for four reaps here. And he just goes for the Amber. He's not playing any games here. He's, he's, he's rushing for the win. And he plays life for life to sack Scally Caper. So he's not going not gonna to do the same damage he did in the previous game. Ray now is on to him and, and knows how he works, so he's not going to fall for it. And he uses the 6 damage from the Life for Life effect to kill a Gamgee. And he does take 1 Amber for playing that action. So he is in check with 6 now. And I'm still at 0. Playing like a turtle over here. Falling behind again. But I'm not worried. I got redacted. So as long as he doesn't have any artifact control... I should be able to forge a key using that thing. That's that's at least what's going through my brain at this point. <laughs> oh, how I wish. <laughs> so I'm going Mars, throw down a Thrink Drone on the left flank, Angent Humane on the right flank. He's the one that uh, we've seen before. He stuns on your side and stuns someone on the other side. Non-Mars creatures uh, on his reap effect. And Zorg comes into play stun. We know him from the first set. And then a Sky Booster Squadron on the right flank, who's four damage. Reap, you can return him back to hand. So quite the Mars board loaded up there. Still no Amber, though. I think my opponent's supposed to forge here. There he goes. Yep, he's forging a key. Doing his six amber. And we're at one key to zero. Yeah. 
And I uh, just wanted to say, I, I believe I'm going to Origins next week to play in the Vault Tour and try to film some games there at Origins. So if you're going to be at Origins, uh, you should see me walking around. Big tall guy uh, wearing a Rob's Gaming Table shirt uh, some of the days at least. Um, and I will be uh, trying to film some of the games in the cut, I think, on day two, which is the Sunday. So if you're at Origins, stop by. You'll see me walking around with cameras and trying to film games. Assuming I don't make the cut. And if, if that's the case, you'll see my wife uh, walking around filming. Uh, assuming she doesn't make the cut. And if we're both in the cut, uh, there, that might be trouble. But I, I doubt that. So It's going to be a large tournament. We'll see. But definitely looking forward to having fun with uh, Sealed uh, Age of Ascension there. So my opponent throws, or steals my Zorg using Hypno Beam. Plays Mars, needs Amber. Uh, but nobody's damaged, so he just plays that for the Amber. And then throws down his Shard of Hate uh, out of Mars, which is the action stun an enemy creature for each friendly Shard. Which is pretty gross. And I name Logo, so I start with Redactus, start on my turn and get an Amber from the common pool. Throw it on Redactus, as I said before. And then I play as the Alpha card, Eureka, which will give me an Amber. Then I also gain two Amber off the ability. And I will archive two random cards, hoping it's not all the Logos cards from my hand. But, uh, hey, it happens sometimes. But, man, three amber? Ooh, boy. And this is a Titan Librarian. So when he's not on the flank, at the end of my turn, after I draw, I get to archive a card. And I have to do it, I believe. There's no May on that. And throw it on a Helper Bot. And the Helper Bot's going to allow me to play the Key of Darkness, which is a garbage card that I got in this deck. Um, I did actually get to use it once in this tournament, where my opponent was... Basically blocking me from forging a key for so long that I built up 12 amber and just had that in my hand and just used it to forge a key, which was very gross. But uh, desperate times, desperate times. Uh, but I used the helper bot just to play it to get it out of hand. And now I get to draw a full hand up. So I do reap uh, with Igor there. And puts me up to 4 amber. Always feels good when you empty your whole hand. I get to draw a new fresh hand of 6 cards. So slowly getting back into this thing here. My opponent assessing my board here, trying to determine who is the highest threat. <clears throat> which creature does he need to destroy next? Or if he goes Mars here and just uses my own Zorg and rams into somebody and stuns somebody, stuns a couple other people with his before fight effect. That could be another option. So you Zubliet to purge the Think Drone. I mean, the Think Drone's okay, but I probably would have hit the Who main there, I think, with the Purge. And he's going to Reap with three there, going up to four Amber using those three Shadows creatures. So he's ahead of me by a full key. I could name Logos with what I have in play and just Reap and get myself in check. Could do that with Mars also, it looks like. But doing Logos also has the benefit of getting another Amber unredacted. But what do I have in my hand? That is the question. Looks like I have a wild wormhole in there. So at least that's not nothing. So Redacted gets another Ambar on it. Going Logos here. And tight mechanic on the flank. Going to try to reduce the cost of keys, it looks like. Which, I mean, if you're coming from behind, might be not a bad idea. We'll see here if I leave it that way. Looks like I'm debating a fight here with the Titan Librarian. Or not. Or the Helper Bot instead. 
So Helper Bot fights first on Little Nif to use Elusive. Then the Titan Mechanic, or Titan Librarian, sorry, hits for the uh, two damage there and takes it to destroy Little Nif. And then I think I reap there with Igor. Wild Wormhole gets me an Amber. And that goes into Sucker Punch. Oh, now this, this is an issue. So, <clears throat> so it's an Alpha card. Uh, and now this is known that that cannot be played. So that should have actually stayed on the top of the deck uh, and couldn't be played. Since I've already done other actions and it's an alpha card, I'm pretty sure it's that one out of Shadows. So yeah, that was an incorrect play right there. Yeah, I shouldn't have got the Amber off of it. shouldn't have been played. should have just went right back to the top of the deck and Wild Wormhole kind of fizzles, basically. But like I said, this is our <laughs> second game here. In Age of Ascension, so yeah, pre-release. Still getting used to that alpha keyword. <laughs> so now he's playing. They are everywhere. Gets an amber off of it. Deals. Uh, what is he doing? I thought it was only enemy creatures, but it looks like he's putting in damage on his own guys. Yeah, it's deal two damage to each enemy flank creature. Deal one damage to each uh, enemy creature not on a flank is what he just did there. But then he gave Zorg two damage. I don't know why. Maybe he assumed it was all creatures. Uh, and then he plays Save the Pack to blow up everyone. Great combo. That was a great two uh, untamed cards that work together in second set. Damage everyone, then just blow up. Or damage all the enemies, then just blow them up with uh, Save the Pack. And you do gain a chain off that. So I was nice enough to lend my opponent my chain card there just to make sure he tracks that single chain. Let's see if we remember it though. <laughs> so he's doing an untamed turn here. Plays regrowth. Looking through his discard pile for a creature to return to hand. Does get an amber for playing that. He's in check now. But I'm also in check now. It's seven. Two amber on redacted. Will I get to forge a key here? And if I do, does my opponent just get to forge a key right after? That's uh. Yeah, still behind. Still behind here. All right, we got Nepenthe thrown down. And that looks like it. No more untamed cards there. So I do get to Forge. Which is not really a surprise on an untamed turn, I guess. <clears throat> so now we're tied at one key, but my opponent is still in check. So I'm starting off with an empty creature board. My opponent also has an empty creature board. So now i got to figure out how, what I'm going to do here to build this board back up. But maybe my opponent will struggle more at that than I will. Since I believe this deck was pretty heavy in creatures. I think it had like 21, if I recall correctly. So yeah, we did remember the chains there. So that is good. So my opponent's chains are gone. And I do the Mars needs Amber just to get the Amber. And the effect does not, not work, especially since there's no creatures across the board. Uh, Mother Gun down there is the artifact. Sky Booster Squadron and a Mind Warper. And over to my opponent here. Let's see what he's got. And he does get to forge his second key. I couldn't stop him. Just trying to remind him to forge there. Just making sure he does not forget it. Oh, maybe he did draw extra there. I don't know. I think we're correcting the chain issue. And uh, so I, I make him discard a random card. He offers which ones he think he drew last. And yeah, we just we figure it out. But. The official rulings at Vault Tours seem to be now, uh, if you watch the uh, Birmingham Vault Tour, is when this happened, if the players couldn't agree on which card was drawn last, the person who did 
basically cheat and draw more cards, has to reveal their entire hand, and their opponent gets to pick which card is discarded. Not even shuffle back in the deck, just discarded. Um, so, and then they get hand knowledge. So, yeah, be careful with those draws and those chains out there, because if they start enforcing that uh, at store levels and all tournaments, uh, yeah, it could be could be some not fun times for people. So he does forge a second key there. And we have Bad Penny thrown down. It's going Shadows, obviously. And we have Life for Life. Bad Penny going back to hand, obviously being the sacrifice target. Gains an Amber off playing the action. Uses it on the Sky Booster Squadron. So I don't get to use him with the Mother Gun. And we got Little Niff back with Bad Penny. And he's choosing not to use Nepen Seed, it looks like. And it goes to my turn. I use Miasma to stop his Key Forge step next turn, but I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, at least I get an Amber off playing it. <clears throat> then I realize I have Sucker Punch, so I kind of roll back. And I just take the Amber off Sucker Punch. We'll pretend that's what the Miasma Amber was for. Then I play Miasma and take an Amber for that. Yeah, that's the problem. Trying to learn these damn Alpha cards at the time. <clears throat> then we have a Life for a Life. Sacking the Mind Warper. Killing Bad Penny. She's going back to hand, obviously. And we've got another Sucker Punch. Just playing that one for the uh, the Amber. There's no creatures in play. But I get myself to check just like that. So a great Amber turn there. So I'm catching up. No creatures in play again. And my opponent's going on Tane. we got Fang House put in play. He's got Hazardous 3, 3 power, and has Assault 3. And uh, he's going to play that... Uh, uh, the uh, exhaust art of, or uh, exhaust action persistence hunting gains an amber and then chooses a house. He chose house Mars, but there's no creatures to exhaust, and plays a dusk witch, dusk witch omega card to end his turn. And now all his pre creatures will come into play ready. And he's actually going to pop Nepen Seed, uh, which he should have done before the dusk witch. Which obviously, like I had to do a take back. I'm not gonna not gonna be you know a stickler on it, so I just let him do the Nepen Seed there. And pretend he did that before the Dusk Witch. Uh, so I do get to forge key number two. And <laughs> just making sure he drew properly there. <laughs> oh, I still have cards in the archives here. Is, my, is it my secret weapons? Those randomly archived cards? Is it Sucker Punch? Maybe it is. Maybe it's Sucker Punch. So I got to name Logos, and that means another Amber on Redacted, if I remember. So I'm trying to figure out here this. Yeah, so play Cutthroat, Re cut yeah, cutthroat Research, get an Amber off that. I do remember Redacted, so it gets an Amber. Tight Mechanic going into play, making keys only cost five right now. So now I just have to name Logos and I win, right? That's the way Redacted works is what I'm trying to figure out right now. Pretty sure, yeah. Once I name Logos, so my opponent's now basically in check. He has to either deal with Redacted or, uh, or forge a key himself on this turn. But I'm not sure if either of us... I think I mentioned it to him, that letting him know that that could happen. And we just continue playing, so... I don't know what else you have in your hand, but it could be good, actually. And I just remind him of Little Niff having the deploy keyword. So he could put it in between the creatures or on the flank. It's his choice. But I was just reminding him how the deploy keyword worked. Oh, and he's Omega. So <laughs> we realized that after. So he had to put him back in hand and told him to play him last. If he's going shouts, yeah. So which one's this here? I always forget the name of this card. Perplexing Sophistry has an amber. Play. If you have more amber than your opponent, they discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card. Which you just saw happen there. There's Bad Penny coming into play. And she gets to enter play ready because of the Dusk Witch that I didn't deal with. And Life for Life, killing the Titan Mechanic. Any creature, right? 
I was just curious for hey, the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you need to get rid of someone. And then Bad Penny's going to come in. She's going to reap it. Yeah, Bad Penny coming into play and reaping again. Damn, Bad Penny's and Dusk Witch combos. And we got Little Niff coming into play ready. Oh, this is like the last thing you do. Like yeah, I think we think Little Niff there just ends the turn. He doesn't get to do anything with him. And my opponent said check with six. I say logos. Put it on redacted. Pop it. And that should be key number three. My opponent keeps drawing, not realizing what's happening. <laughs> and he realizes. <laughs> All right, so that's redacted. Don't think it's too hot because Snecklifter still exists in the second set, and he is a card in the first set, and that would make your day sad if you put three amber on that and your opponent steals it and then names Logos next turn. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. Lots more Keyforge coming up on the channel. And like I said, going to Origin, so I should get some footage from there for you guys for some of the matches that aren't on stream. So make sure you subscribe for that. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.